Wow. That's... That's fucked. That is absolutely fucked. I... I I'm actually like... Remember when I said it wouldn't hit anybody that we know? Yeah, that was dead wrong. This was in the back of my mind. Holy fuck. What do you mean, who cares? Do you know who this guy is? Are you guys fucking retarded? I... I... Wow. So, yeah, uh, alright, who? They okay. just laid off one of the best CMs they've ever had. Let me explain. The guy who... Let me explain. So, Caden, uh, I, I met Caden at BlizzCon 2017. He was one of the first people uh, that was actually, like, you know, tried to, like, make friends with me and talk to me and, uh, you know, like, kind of, like, get to know me as, like, a creator. And he was a really big advocate of like bringing people in and you know like these like different things that in involve creators and all of that He was a huge advocate for that uh, Multiple times he's like talked to me about like different stuff and we've had like really constructive conversations and I'd consider him a friend um, He also has been one of the most outspoken forward-facing members of the community management team for a while for over a year if you look at a lot of the posts that were made on the official forums or even on Reddit or something like that, Caden was the one that was making the post and saying those things. And turn down the music. Oh, let me. Yeah, please. Okay, just, okay just, fine. Just, just, uh, I didn't realize how loud it was. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I apologize. He, he was uh, probably one of the strongest and most positive influences in the WoW like uh, creator team. Like. Uh, or at least like a community team by a mile, right? He was the most outspoken, forward-facing person. And what he said, I think, gave people a lot of personal connection with WoW and gave those people a reason to understand that this is coming from a person and not a corporation. And to see somebody like that get let go is a huge disappointment. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest disappointments and like I, I this is this is the main thing that I kind of worried about and and well and well the, the big thing is and right community ma community developers are a huge component in setting up these like online events and they are they play a part in everything they are the liaison between you and the developer and Blizzard like they are the liaison and the fact that you're not able to have somebody there who's batting on your side, because let me tell you, I've talked to Caden, he's batting on your side. To lose somebody like that is a massive disappointment. Like, I, I'm going to say that right, it is a massive fucking disappointment. And anybody who plays this down is a fucking idiot. <laughs> like... That's that's a fucking understatement. That you're so stupid you don't even know you're stupid. Like that's how dumb you are if you think this doesn't matter. Like I How can how the fuck can you how the how do you open the call saying yeah, talking about record numbers and then laying off people? What the how the fuck does that make sense, dude? And then how the fuck can you can you talk about wanting to improve communication between developers and the player base and you're laying off fucking CMs? How the fuck does any of that make sense at all? It's what the fuck's going on? It's completely counterproductive, especially the most outspoken, forward-facing, community-facing CM that there, that there is. Like, it, it'd be one thing if they were just, like, you know, removing people that we didn't know, right? But the fact that, like, if, like, you just look, right? Um, uh, let me see if I... I probably could pull some up. Uh, I, I'm... I don't know. I'm I'm really kind of. That's shocking, dude. I, I'll be I'll be honest. Like I I completely agree with you. I I think that it's shocking as well. Um, like I I would have never expected this. Uh, I, if anything, I would have expected or hoped that Caden would get a promotion. If if not, you know that. I mean, like I just.
tweet about it? Yeah, this deserves a fucking tweet, dude. Uh, let me see how I say forward facing. Uh, I'm trying to think like what to say here. Uh, let me try to type something out. Forward facing is weird language. I don't think that it is either. Um, uh, community focus. I mean like, uh, Like, uh, let me think, what, what's like the best way to say it? Uh, transparent? No, not transparent. That, that's, that's not true at, at all. Um, progressive has to part ways with, I, I'm trying to think. Wait, well, part ways with is like just the very way, uh, very easy way to say it, community focused. Um, oh, I, I like that a lot, yeah. Fuck it, man, I'm just gonna tweet it out. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tweet it out. There. I sent it. Mike. What, what a joke, dude. Wow. And by Thank the way, Maggie. if you cared about Classic at all, you should be upset about this because Yithesens was uh, a, a good a good middleman for the information and he was delivering some of that feedback to the uh, classic devs so uh, that's not gonna happen anymore yeah uh, I'm not yeah I'm not happy about that at all uh, it just sucks like yeah I mean there it is that was that was yet yeah exactly like Caden was good? Yeah, I mean, he really was. Like, I, uh, I... I don't know. I'm just disappointed. that What, they fired Yithesens? Yeah. Yes, they did. Like, somebody told me that this might happen. It was not him. Somebody told me this might happen. This is, like, I didn't think that it would. I really just didn't think so. But... Here we are. Like I, uh, I, I don't know. It just fucking sucks, man. Like that kind of shit. Part ways is like he chose to leave. No, no. It, it's politically correct and it's non-confrontational. Uh, it, it's ambiguous as well, so people can take from it what they will, what they want. Uh, I, I use that language for a reason. Um. You not realize this entire earnings call was to, was to try and soothe investors? Yeah, I mean, of course. Like, why? Fuck do you, it, dude. Yeah. Investors are thrilled, dude. People getting fired or, or people getting laid off. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That's more a. Hey, that's money, dude. Fuck the people. Give me money. Well, that's yeah, the problem, right? Dude. Is it like that's what it's all about? Well, obviously, I mean, it is at the end of the day. But sometimes you have to spend money to make money. I mean, this is like, like I've spent a lot of money on like trying to get things set up for my stream, etc. Uh, sometimes it's good to spend money and put some effort into something. And it, it's like the $2,000 like deathless run, for example. Like I didn't have to do that. I, I could have just done it and people probably would have watched anyway. It would have been fine. But I did that to increase the stakes and also to invest something and do something good at the same time. Uh, I feel like a lot of these companies don't realize the value of spending money sometimes. Sometimes you can't just always make money like every single day. Like you're not gonna go positive every single day. And very, yeah, very short term oriented. A and you look at that, what's the epitome of that? It's like this guy that worked at the company and then he left and now he's back again and they gave him $15 million. Like th these people that are running the top of the companies, the tops of the company are, are going from company to company getting bonuses and severance packages from each one rotating around like fucking prostitutes taking everybody's fucking money 
and the only people they're fucking is the community. That's what's happening. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm upset about it. I, I, I definitely am. It just fucking sucks. They, they could have given him... What it, I mean, think about it this way. They could have given him $14 million, and with the extra $1 million, they could have kept more CMs. Or maybe they, maybe they dropped $2 million. It's like each person probably cost Blizzard like 100 k right? Like, let's say they're paying somebody 50 grand. Like, let's say it's $100,000. That's 10 people that could have kept their job. Think about how much I could, like, I, I think about, like, how much I could do or one person could do for the game. That's just one person alone. I, I, I don't know. This is just, it's really disappointing. Uh, I, I'll be completely honest. It really is. And Vanilla WoW had no CMs. Man, you're so fucking retarded. Like, how are you that retarded? Um, they didn't call them CMs back then because the industry wasn't developed enough in order to have CMs as a term. But they did have people that functioned and performed the same roles and responsibilities as CMs. Like, you're just fucking stupid. Uh, like, I... I don't know, man. Okay, um... Activision Blizzard quarter four earnings report 8% of employees laid off in year of restructuring. Wow. That's like one in every 10 people. What the fuck? God damn. Uh, wow. That is insane. Uh, okay. You seem to be going on people in drama, but you're in the same scheme with the dismissal. Wait, what? Well, I, yeah, because I'm passionate about it. Like, it, it's like, obviously, like, I just like, if you think that's the same thing, you're retarded. Like, I mean, you're just retarded. There's no reason talking to you. Like, I, this is just so stupid. Like, I, I don't know what else even to say, man. 8% of the people that got fired, man, that's fucking insane. Like, I, I never thought it would be that high. That's what's crazy. Uh, revenue will be down for 2019. They've been growing since 2014. That's the way it goes. I, I guess it is. Uh, everybody just leave this area. Um, uh, let me remove this guy. Um, okay, just a second. L let's uh, leave the instance group and we'll requeue because we've been having some problems with queuing up. Uh, Mr. Bytheme, I don't know about that. Unusual at all. I work for Mercedes. Uh, the company is doing, and they still restructure. They fired like 6% of employees, get bloated up, and... Uh, then they need to cleanse at some point. Well, look, I, I get that. <coughs> I get that. I understand that. But I don't feel like that's... Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to get this. <clears throat> hey, maybe since we have so many, um, you know, business gurus in chat. Yeah. Maybe you guys can explain. Maybe because, you know, to my uneducated mind, I don't understand the idea. So explain to me. How can a company boast record sales but also need to lay off people or not record sales but like record numbers yeah well that's the thing is the way they described it is they did have they had high sales for call of duty right on on the and they they spoke about record launch sales and that's what they said they said very specifically record launch sales and that means that the re why did they say only record launch sales it's simple. Uh, they did that because they didn't have record sales overall, and the people that were buying it stopped buying it after the second time, and they even admitted that. They said after like the first quarter of Call of Duty or whatever, that the sales went below average, below their expectations. So, I, I mean, like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Imagine, so, yeah, go ahead. last year... Blizzard or Activision Blizzard had 9,600 employees. They're laying off 8% of staff, which means around 800 people are losing their jobs. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, I mean, fuck. That's 800 people getting fired. Like, I, I mean, if they're if they're firing people here to get rid to get more developers, I I don't know. I just feel like. I feel like some of it's almost, uh, it, it's almost contradictory. Oh, whatever. That's a lot of money for development of mobile games. 
Yeah, it certainly is. I don't know, man. It's just really disappointing to me. Like... I just... I, I feel bad about this, man. I, I really... I honestly, like... If it wasn't... If it wasn't for, like... Uh, if it wasn't for this, I would be, like, a lot more... Like, less demoralized. But this does really kind of suck. And, like, maybe it's, like... Just because it's, like, one of my friends. But still, it just... I don't know. It just fucking sucks, man.